Did you have a nice spot of tea with your new robot friend? Dr. Faraday is planning to make worshipful slaves out of the robots. <laughs> They're mechanical savage, Roger! That's the whole fucking point of their existence! How would you like it if someone you hate reprogrammed you to love them instead? I suppose I'd be blissfully happy, wouldn't I? Nothing like being in love. You don't find that at all horrifying. Not like you do, no. You grew up expecting to be free. And that's the lovely thing about you. You never look down to see if you're on solid ground, so you can just look at the moon and the stars all day long. Where I come from, everybody has a job. And nothing is worse than not belonging to anybody. If we weren't killing them, we could go to their world and learn from them. What? Make friends with them? You, you, you're like that lord that kept an Indian tiger for a house cat until it ate him. We are going to find Dr. Faraday, who's smarter even than you, and we are going to help her do whatever she thinks makes sense. All right? You just can't see that we could be at the threshold of something bewildering and beautiful. You refuse to. Fuck's sake, Roger! I've got to find her positronic converter and destroy it. There's a door that says conversion. That must be it. She seems to have locked the door. Hmm. Look for a sort of crack in the wall. was already dead. Well, he went into the family business. That always gives you a leg up. At least you fought for king and country. And if all we ever do is make each other happy, that's not enough. No, yeah, of course it is. Hey, maybe something will go horribly wrong and you'll rise to the occasion. You always know how to cheer me up, James. Dares wins, I suppose. There is a very big, very mean looking robot here. You're not doing anything foolish, are you, Pop? Ah! 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 Ah!
How many worlds are lost when we kill each other? What could we win if we could only talk?
Ah, she won't torture them anymore. Just make them into willing slaves. Seems Fortune is getting a bit tired of favouring the bold. That's it, isn't it? There you are again. You can actually be of some use. The positronic converter has gone wonky. I need you to check if it's grounded. You're enslaving them! Worse, making them love their slavery, so they can work the fields for you! They are tools! And whoever constructed them thoughtfully gave them feedback loops, so their user doesn't have to program each and every behavior. I'm just changing the numbers. Where's James? Maybe he can talk some sense into you. They're a race of intelligent people! They are not! And they're killing actual people! Oh, I don't know what you think you're doing here, but if I can't get my positronic converter up and running, they'll kill every last one of you. Right? I'm putting a stop to this right now. It. I have to set off the reaction after all. What reaction? The motoline. I have to catalyze it, set it all on fire. Burn all the robots on this side of the portal, or they'll kill us all. All my research gone to waste. What about the ones on the other side? The ones in their own world? They'll burn too, I suppose. And there's a non-zero chance the mines under Wellington Wells will explode. Brilliant job, Roger. I won't be needing your services anymore. Roger! Come back here right now! Sweet prince, and flights of angels sing thee to thy rest.
She's gone to kill all the robots. Well, we've got you to thank for that, haven't we? I can't let her murder innocent people. They're not people, Pop. Are you going to side with the robots or with human beings? I'm siding with both. I am sorry, Pup, but you have lost your mind, and I have to stop you from making a terrible mistake. You're going to fight me! I don't have any choice, my love. What have I done? God, I hope I'm right. Some sort of quick charger, I think. <laughs> <laughs>